Hello and welcome to a special edition of NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. I'm Kevin Auctioner. Thanks for joining us. Protecting and improving the environment has long been the focus of America's foremost land stewards, farmers and ranchers. The 2015 Regional Environmental Stewardship Award winners were announced last year during the Cattle Industry Summer Conference right here in Denver. The seven regional winners are all dedicated to maintaining and improving their lands to ensure that they are productive for future generations. Today, we'll get an up-close look at each one of these regional winners in seven very different parts of the country. We begin with a visit to our Region 1 winner in Virginia. In the Shenandoah Valley of Northern Virginia, Valley View Farms has family history going back more than a hundred years. Today, Mike and Susan Phillips work together, caring for the cattle that graze the steep, rolling hills of their 310-acre farm. I run a cow-calf operation and I background those calves, meaning once they're weaned, I'll background them into a, about a seven, eight weight. Everything is a forage base. I wouldn't call myself an intensive rotational grazing, but I'm pretty close to being intensive family operation. It's been in Mike's family for several generations and so we do it ourselves. That's why we went to rotational grazing in order to be able to do it ourselves and be mostly hands-on with the cattle. In addition to rotational grazing, Mike uses a mix of no-till seeded forages and cover crops to keep his cattle grazing nearly year-round. And he's passionate about protecting and improving soil health. The hat uh, that I wear on my head says the soil is meant to be covered. When this land was created, it was covered. It's meant to be covered. And I want to do, follow exactly what the hat says. And I try to preach that to people, keep something on that ground all the time to protect it. Mike's passion for the soil began with his father, now retired, who had to take over working the farm at age 12 when his own father passed away. From the start, Mike's dad wanted to restore land that had been badly eroded. And that soil erosion just bothered my father. He hated erosion. Together, Mike and Susan have spent much of their lives working to stop soil erosion, starting with conservation plans that began when Mike took over the farm more than 35 years ago. It had erosion problems, and uh, Mike and I stood here and, and talked about how he might work to uh, slow that erosion down. Seeing what he's done with this since that time, I see that he's reduced the erosion drastically from where it was uh, in 1978. Another major challenge here is controlling water runoff. Not far away is the Shenandoah River, which ultimately leads to the Chesapeake Bay. So Mike has installed watering systems throughout his 22 grazing units and fenced his cattle out of the creeks. All the sensitive areas, streams, wet areas, sinkholes, they have all been totally excluded, some back since 1986. Mike has also fenced cattle out of wooded areas, planted trees, and set aside a portion of his land as wildlife and pollinator habitat. He not only cares for his own land and cattle, but also works off the farm as a technician for the USDA's Natural Resources Conservation Service. This connection between somebody's asked me, are you a full-time farmer or full-time NRCS? I said, I'm both. The biggest advantage of Mike having an active dynamic farm and working with NRCS is that the, he has credibility with the farmers. Farmers love him. They say, hey, this guy's doing it. He's not just talking about doing it. Grateful to those mentors who have helped guide him, Mike is committed to sharing his knowledge with others. He's opened Valley View Farms to a wide variety of students, tours, and research projects. This is my way of repaying my debt to my mentors, is doing what they did for me, given the, the commodity of time. You can read the books, but this is my classroom right here. And this is where, you know, you can kick the dirt, 
look at each other face to face. Whether it's protecting the soil, trying new cover crops, or even restoring their historic bank barn with timber harvested on the farm, Mike and Susan are committed to making Valley View Farms a leading example of the never-ending effort to improve the care of the land. Our legacy will be that we tried to do things the right way. We feel that these acres here are ours just for a short time and that we are simply passing through and God has given us this to take care and to bring it up to a better standard. My father took it from this level to this level and they were able to me to take it to this level and I want the next person that takes here take it to the higher level. I want to keep pushing it better. Right here, when you protect that ground right there, it'll take care of you. You feed her, she'll feed you. NCBA members are helping make a difference in the environment every day. To join them as a member of the National Cattlemen's Beef Association, just give us a call at 1-866-USA-BEEF or visit the website beefusa.org.